friends, and welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are going to start using Arduino Unos in our Tinkercad projects. If you haven't done Tinkercad, check out our massive set of playlists in um, YouTube that has all sorts of Tinkercad beginnings for breadboarding, and now we are on to breadboarding and programming. So we're gonna just do a simple LED, so I'm just gonna call a simple LED I'll put with Arduino there, because we are gonna do some programming today. We will pull out a breadboard and you can search for an Uno and you can pull out the Arduino Uno. Now you don't have to use an Arduino Uno when you make this. There's lots of generic versions for that. Um, I use the Elegoo a lot and that works really well for me. All right, so we're gonna light up an LED today. We're just gonna keep it simple to start with and then we'll add some more fun stuff after that. I think I'm gonna put my LED down here. And my LEDs, I always connect the anode to positive and the cathode to negative. Now this time though, I kind of want to be able to control it with this Arduino Uno. So what I can do is I can connect one of these pins to either the positive or the negative. I'm going to do it the positive and I'll connect my negative to ground through a resistor. So let's do that here. We'll pull out a resistor that'll go to ground. And then your Arduino Uno has a ton of pins there's a couple places for ground. One is on this top row where it says G and D. That means ground. And there's two spots for ground down in this power area. So since we're sort of up top, we can hook our ground in right here, just like that. And I'm gonna color that black as usual because I always really like to have black and red go sort of to the ground and the hot power rails. Now these are the digital pins of the Arduino Unos. Digital is very much like binary or a light switch. It's either on or off. It gives a value of either zero, which is off, or five, which is on. And I say five because it puts out five volts. Your analog ones, they give a range. So unlike digital, that's like your light switch, your analog is like a light switch on a dimmer. So instead of your light being off or on that you have with digital, you could have off or dimly lit or medium light or very bright. You can have this range between zero and five, um, but it can also output zero and five too. So that's something to notice the difference between this digital and the analog. If you want to read values very precisely, you want to read an analog. If you want to read values that are just, is it high or is it low, you could read in digital. So we will connect one of our digital pins into the anode here, and we're gonna color that, let's color that pink for right now. So if in a normal circuit, if this was just a battery between these two wires, I would be good to go, right? We come out of the positive into our LED and then back into the negative. So the question is, how do I make that work with Arduino Uno? Now, this is great. I love Tinkercad because when you go into the code, you can either choose if you want to use block or text, and it will get rid of all of your code if you switch from block to text. So know that that's really important. It'll ask you if you want to get rid of your code, but you could see block and text. You just can't edit the text if you see block and text. This program right here is just gonna blink the LED that's on your Arduino, which is this little guy right here, but we want to actually blink the LED that we have connected. So I'm gonna look at just the block so we don't get confused. And what I'm gonna do is this comes in to pin two. So that's gonna be really important to remember that that is into pin two. Now whatever I put over in here is gonna get looped through a whole bunch of times. So I could set pin two to high. And when I start my simulation, my little LED turns on. Let's say I wanna blink it though. Well, just like in scratch programming, you can go over into control and you can wait. There's a wait and you can choose seconds or milliseconds and you can write in your number there. And if I want it to blink, I need to set pin two to high to turn it on. I could wait one second and then I'm gonna turn it off. So I would set pin two to low. And now I also need to wait one second before it goes right back up here because otherwise it can be high for a second, low high for a second, low high for a second, and you're gonna loop and you're basically gonna skip this low. So if we go back into control, we can wait one second. And as we start the simulation, we can watch it blink on and off. 
which is fantastic. All right. Now that we have this guy built, let's build on this a little bit. Now I really encourage you to pause the video and see if you can do this. We're gonna make a rainbow of LEDs and we're gonna blink the red one and then the orange one, the green one, the blue one. We're gonna sort of blink them all in order and we can watch it sort of go through. So that's a challenge for you, you can pause it and when you think you have it, you can turn the video back on and see what we did also. So I'm gonna click back on this code up here, which brings back all of my pretty pictures. And I am going to now make my LEDs come out. So I'm gonna do red, orange, yellow. And again, to be able to change these colors, you just click right up here and it has this drop down menu of all sorts of beautiful colors. All right, so we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I think I'm gonna skip white. Now I can connect all of our cathodes together and the way that I can do that sort of in a clever way, we're gonna color it in black, is I'm just going to connect right here for these guys. And that is connecting all these short legs together. You can definitely just draw your wire across. I wanna just be able to make sure that you guys can see exactly where all of my wires are. All right, so all of these guys are all now connected to ground, and I have to now connect the different ones into my Arduino Uno. And I'm just gonna go right in order, and a clever way to help you see what you're programming on is to color your wire that goes into the Arduino Uno the same color as your LED. That works really well for this project and you always sort of find different ways to color things to keep things organized in your head as you go. All right, so we're gonna hook up from the Uno into a pin for all of these LEDs, and that pin is going into the anode of your LED, which is the long leg, it sort of goes out to the right. And this is our last one, which will be blue. And now we have this all wired up. They're all going to ground, oops, through this one resistor, which is fantastic, because they are all connected. And then they are all connected to their own individual pin on the Arduino Uno. So now we're gonna program this and change the program a little bit so that we can see how, what sort of cool things we can do. So pin two is red. And what we can do is we can actually in notation write a comment and we could say, pin two is red, and that helps us remember, or maybe you just remember because you can look over here. Whatever works for you. I kind of like to keep my code a little cleaner without these comments, because otherwise I'm gonna have a lot of them. All right, so I've got pin two high and I wait. I think I'm gonna do it a little faster, so maybe I'll wait a quarter of a second, so 0.25 seconds, I'm gonna switch that up. I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna duplicate this whole block right here. All right, and when two goes low, I actually don't need this second weight. I can set pin three, which is orange, my orange LED to high. And then I can wait and I can set that orange LED to low. In fact, let's just copy these three bricks. Oops, we gotta set pin three orange to low. Now I'm gonna go to my yellow. And because of the way we did this, the way we wired it two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna go up two, three, four, five, six, and our numbering on the pins. All right, and we can just keep duplicating this set of three blocks and changing it to one number up, like that. All right, so now my program is saying set pin two to high, that's red, so set red high, wait a quarter of a second, set red low. At the same time I set red low, I'm gonna set orange high, wait a quarter of a second. I'm gonna set orange low, and at the same time, set yellow high. And I'm gonna go through this, and once it gets down here, it's always gonna come back up to the top. So Arduino programming, it goes in a loop. It's an automatic loop, so you're always gonna go back to the top. And we can see what this looks like in our simulation. Ooh, and it looks like our green and our blue don't light up, so let's pause. And that's because we didn't connect the grounds. The green and the blue grounds are connected, but green and yellow are not connected. So let's add a new wire 
We skipped that one by accident. And now let's start our simulation. There we go. So now I'm going through this beautiful rainbow of lights colors, which I absolutely love. Let's say I wanted it to go through the rainbow and then I wanted it all of them to flash on and off. So we can write that in our code. In our control, we have types of loops. So I could put a repeat loop around this and maybe I want to go through that rainbow five times. And then I want to do a different thing. And maybe I'll repeat this different thing five times as well. And at the end of these five times, we'll come back up to the top of this loop. All right, and if I want all of them to go high at the same time, I want them all to turn on. So I'll set pin two, which is my red to high. I can set pin three to high. And you can imagine that we'll just go three, four, five, six. It's nice to keep it all in order here so that if you're troubleshooting, you can see what is going on. All right, oops, we want this to be high. Oops, we grabbed the wrong line of code, there we go. Five and six, oh, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna sort of go through the rainbow and then they're all gonna go on. And then I probably wanna wait for uh, maybe a quarter of a second, because I'm doing quarter of seconds here. And then I'm gonna set all of them to low. So I can duplicate that whole chunk and change all of my highs to lows, which is fabulous. And then at the end of this, it's gonna wait a quarter of a second and it'll go back to high. Once it's done this loop five times, I come all the way back up to the top. So we've written a whole bunch of code in blocky code, which is amazing. Now we can watch it go. So there's two, three, four, five, and now we're all on and all off. You can see how it blinks all at once, which is amazing. You can, if you want to, click blocks and text. Don't go to text because that'll delete everything we've done, but you can see how we would write this in code if we were writing all of our code. And we can see that digital write is the command of code that we use to set a pin high or low. And it, we're setting pin two high and then pin three high, or pin two low and pin three low. We can also see that we use a delay, and whatever we put in the parentheses of this delay is what our delay is in milliseconds. All right, so that's pretty good. And we can see that we also need to tell our Arduino if it's gonna be output, and that means if it's putting something out into the world versus reading something into the Uno. So that means output is the Arduino Uno is putting something out. Input, if it was here, it would be waiting for something to come into that Arduino Uno. So this is kind of cool. We can see how these loops go from zero to five, which was our repeat five times, and it adds one to the counter each time, and it does all of this code. And then here again, we're going from zero to five, they have a second counter. You need two separate counters here. And you can see how this code gets started up. And that's kind of a really fun thing because as we go through our Arduino Uno stuff, we are gonna be starting to write our code out as it gets more and more difficult. But it's gonna be more and more rewarding and we'll make a lot of really fun projects. Thank you so much for joining me in this simple LED with our Arduino project. It was a lot of fun. I hope that you build it in Tinkercad and on a breadboard at home. Make sure you send us your stuff and support us at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. See you soon, friends.